Здравствуйте, товарищи! This is Russian Freak 09, and that uh, Russian phrase in the beginning means hello, comrades, in Russian. That's right, I'm speaking Russian again because last time I did it, Aging Gangster 007 freaked the fuck out, so why not do it again? Hello, Grenade. Um, and uh, this time I'm bringing you guys another uh, relatively old Comet Arms review that I did a while ago. Um, again, because people seem to, uh, it has seemed to be really popular, uh, well, by my marks, which is not very big, but uh, still, uh, relatively popular on my channel, uh, just because people are apparently obsessed with this gun. Uh, the gun itself is the incense, I mean incest, in, incest rifle, um, and uh, it's... I really don't know why, but a lot of people seem to have given it extremely high ratings and I'm probably gonna get hated on not doing the same. So, the deal with this gun is, it's it's an assault rifle GP, relatively cheap, um, compared to a lot of other things, M6A2, I am a fanboy of that gun, I know, um, but, um, it's, it's a, it's a, it, from the face of it, it seems to be a relatively, you know, average gun. Damage is okay, but the problem is that you have to tap fire with it in order to avoid the slightly vicious recoil, um, and that kind of lessens the damage you deal over time, so you have to watch out for that. It's not as good as it seems on full auto. Um, and the only time you can really use full auto with it is in relatively close range, uh, which is not what the gun's meant for at all, by the way. Uh, but it's good it has that uh, panic measure in it. Um, and the reason it is so is because it is a sniping gun. It is meant to be used over long range as a counter sniper weapon. When you've got a sniper, um, you know, again, it's it's like a hipster gun. You know why? Uh, you know why snipe with a fucking sniper on a sniper map? Well, you could just use a fucking assault rifle. Snipers are over, too mainstream, overrated. You know, so um, whatever the logic is, um, I can't blame them too much because I'm I go proto hipster on their ass and take a, you know, why use a sniping gun on a long-range map and you can take it to death room and, you know, die at the hands of specs and shit like that. But, um, I, that's because I want, everybody knows it's good for long-range. The accuracy is off the charts, it's one of the most accurate guns in the game. Uh, it doesn't have too much spread over range as long as you don't start, you know, freaking shooting in a full auto like a crazy mofo. Uh, and provided the fact that it comes with the ACOG sight that you see on top of it, it's basically all set up for you to, you know, uh, do all the counter-sniping you want. For that particular purpose, always remember one two shot tap fire, no more than that, otherwise the recoil gets a little out of hand, especially with that sight in. Uh, however, it, at the same time it has like a, a, a backside to it where if you do start shooting like crazy, you see the crosshairs, they don't expand uncontrollably like most of the AK series, AK74M that I've used for a while. They stop expanding after a certain point and just stay there, which allows you to get those clo really, really up close and personal kills that you really need to do when you're, for example, counter sniping and somebody comes up to CBL success. Scott, yep, truth. Uh, that's from the old video. I couldn't get rid of that, sorry. Uh, but, um, when, some, when you're trying to counter snipe and somebody comes up behind you and starts shooting away at you, you can turn around and quickly, you know, liquidate them from the uh, immediate area um, with relative success. However, again, I would caution you that this gun probably isn't the best thing for things like Death Room uh, because, like I said, damage isn't too much, you know, isn't too overkill, recoil has to be managed. Spread uh, is a little bit iffy when you're not shooting with the scope and um, it's it's kind of it's just kind of like that for in terms of moving around with it believe it or not for a sniping gun again I'm looking at you AN94 you fucking piss me off uh, this this gun you can actually strafe with it with relative success um, jumping increases your uh, increases your spread by a shitload but uh, strafing doesn't seem to do that so you can do a little bit of that um, I don't know if it's advisable to do it while scoped in but if it's necessary you know so that that's, that pesky sniper doesn't hit you in the face uh, go Go ahead by by all means do it as for moving around with the gun um the portability isn't the best it's not it's not something you should really worry about it's not it's not as bad as the m14 uh mark 14 mod zero but it's still iffy you know you see me kind of struggling with my sprint stamina etc etc i believe i'm uh, using a declan with a light vest in this video so that kind of should tell you something about that uh but aside from that looks you know whatever good enough mag capacity is good enough considering it doesn't guzzle ammo it allows you to efficiently get those couple of kills you know um and save a lot of ammo in the process because you do tap fire because it does have high enough damage to get that four or five to sh uh, four to five shot kill almost every single time with little damage drop off over range so i hope that does uh clear up the gun for you i would not rate it overly high you know i wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 i'd give it a six six seven out of ten tops um i hope you guys found this helpful enjoy it if you have different experiences with it opinions etc comments whatever put that in the comment section i appreciate constructive criticism as always um if you liked it you know subscribe like favorite whatever tell a friend that would help a lot um check out uh tuna fish productions on facebook and rush freak on twitter thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more content